Welcome on YouTube, welcome on JGNL TV HD. Quick things out here today. Obviously, we out here with the Tick Watch E from Mobvoy, and um, I just want to share with you a few battery saving tips to make this stretch to at least a day, if not a day and a half. Now, um, one of the most important, um, you know, battery saving tips for this is be careful what apps you download from the Play Store. Like that Play Store may seem harmless, but all those apps, like especially the ones that change the watch faces or that you can make the watch face on, um, them apps suck out your battery. You won't even realize it, but your battery will just be disappearing and you'll be wondering why. And yeah, so like if there are any apps that you're, you know, you're not too sure about, even these apps that are already on your phone, um, just be careful and see if you can delete some of them off the, um, not off your phone, but off the watch and just make sure that these apps are not sucking all of your battery before you even change any of the settings that I'm about to tell you about. Now, obviously, um, setting one, an obvious one is turning down your brightness. Now, let me just show you that. Um, obviously you go into those settings there and then you turn that all the way down to one and you're good to go. Now, obviously, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to just turn it up to at least three because, you know, we can't really see what's going on. Um, and a second thing that you can do to save battery is obviously turn that always on screen to always off. <laughs> like, um, that's one of the biggest battery killers on smartware or on your Android where I should say. So, um, yeah, turn that off and turn that off and you're already halfway there. Um, another two things that you need to turn off are the gestures and the connectivity. So take off the tilt to wake and the wrist gestures so the watch is not being, you know, woken up and it's not waiting for gestures to take place kind of thing. It's just chilling. Um, and another thing is the connectivity. Obviously, when your watch comes out of, you know... Um, range with your Bluetooth on your phone, um, it will automatically start frantically searching for Wi-Fi unless you turn it off. So yeah, turn off the Wi-Fi, let's keep it moving, let's live a lot longer. Um, also, location as well, if you're doing any GPS um, intensive applications on your watch or on your phone, um, yet again, it will start using the GPS from the watch, which is a deadly killer of battery on Android Wear. So make sure you turn that off as well. Um, the only final tip I can really give you to save battery on your Tick Watch E and most other Android Wear 2.0 watches is um, get a simple background. Like, see the background I've got at the moment, it's got this kind of, I don't know, something's going on there. Like, something's spinning around, it's all mad, it's all pretty. <laughs> um... Get yourself something simple, like, I mean, it doesn't have to be simple as this, but yo, this is this is what I'm saying right here. Uh, okay, let me just do this. There you go, yeah, this is what I'm saying right here, see? Nice and simple, I got the time, I got the date as well. Um, be aware, it's trying to use the GPS, hopefully it's using the GPS from my phone and not from the watch. But um, yeah, counting, you know, try and get a dark one, as it's an AMOLED screen, if you can get a dark one that shows black, then you're even sh you're showing even you know using even less battery. Um, so yeah, those are my battery saving tips for the whatever this watch is called. What's it called? No no no. What is this watch actually called? Tick Watch E. There we go. You've done another thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll catch you in the next one. JGMO out.